Good evening, it's Wednesday, January 30th, and today's title is The Opening of the Fifth Seal. Before we begin, let us do our 777 prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for a wonderful day, uh, all the blessings and all the great things you've done in our lives. We ask that as we study Revelations today, that you continue to help us realize the words that you want us to hear. Let us listen to your voice. In your name we pray. Amen. The word soul in the Bible denotes the whole person. The martyrdom of God's faithful and persecuted people is portrayed here in terms of the sacrificial blood poured out at the base of the earthly sanctuary altar of sacrifice. God's people have suffered injustice and death for the faithfulness to the gospel. They cry out to God asking Him to step in and to vindicate them. These texts concern the injustice done here on earth. They are not saying anything about the state of the dead. After all, these people do not appear to be enjoying the bliss of heaven. The martyrdom saints were given white robes representing Christ's righteousness, which leads to their vindication his gift to those who accept his offer of grace. Then they were told that they would have to rest until their brothers who would go through a similar experience are made complete. It is important to notice that the Greek text of Revelation 6.11 does not have a word number. Revelation does not talk of a number of martyrdom saints to be reached before Christ's return, but of a completeness regarding their character. God's people are made complete by their robe of Christ's righteousness, not their own merit. The martyred saints will not be resurrected and vindicated until the second coming of Christ and the beginning of the millennium in Revelation 20 verse 4. The scene of the fifth seal applies historically to the period leading up to and following the Reformation during which millions were martyred because of their faithfulness. It also brings to mind the experience of God's suffering people throughout history from the time of Abel until the time when God finally avenged the blood of his servants. How long, O Lord, has been the cry of God's suffering people throughout history? Who has never struggled with the lack of justice in their life? What comfort do you find in the scenes of the fifth seal, knowing that one day justice will indeed be done? Thank you for watching. Please answer the question in the comment section below. God bless you and have a great day.